There's been yet another cover-up of a grooming gang revealed by the Daily Express, this time in Scotland. And the grooming gang was comprised of around 55 people. And wait for it, they were not Asians or Pakistanis, although there were Pakistani men. There were also Egyptian, Moroccan, Afghan, the usual suspects. The ones that come from Muslim countries. Can't blame this on Pakistan or on Asia. Some of them are African, but they're all Muslim. And the police covered this up. There were about 44 victims involved and the police covered it up. Why? They say it's to protect the victims. Do you believe them? It's not. It's to protect government open border policy. The police and the government and the press are doing their utmost to prevent us from learning the true scale of what has been inflicted on the British people by virtue of mass immigration from a world completely different to ours. When will we understand that the men who come from these countries do not have the same attitudes to women and they see non-Muslims as vastly inferior to them? In the world of, in the Islamic world, there are two people, the Muslim and the non-Muslim, and the non-Muslim is inferior and can be treated however the Muslim likes. It says so in the scripture over and over again. And all these inquiries that we're going to have are white washes. They will not reveal the unifying ideology of these rape gangs and why they find it so easy to rape young girls and then brag about it and share the news with their friends and family. It's a completely different culture. It is incompatible with ours, our laws, our values and our basic morals. We have got to fight back against this. The established elite will not do it. You must know that by now. What will it take? What will it take? If we're not children blown up at concert in Manchester, our, our th tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of girls gang raped across the country. This has been inflicted upon you by Labour and Tory and Labour and Tory for years. We must take this latest grooming gang scandal as our impetus, our incentive to finally stand up to the corrupt, self-serving politics that has brought us to this point. For Britain is very, very clear about this. People involved in these rape gangs will be thrown in jail or out of this country permanently and we will not run and hide from the religion that helps create these rape gang monsters. It's time for the truth. I've had enough. Have you had enough? Well, if you have, join for Britain. We are serious about this and you must know, you must know that I mean it. I, this is not a, a, a political opportunity for me. I am serious about this. I am appalled and disgusted that this is continuing to happen in our country. We will stop it. Join us now and fight back.